The Ministry of Agriculture and Lands have partnered with the Caribbean Agricultural Research and Development Institute, CARDI, and the Grenada Cooperative Nutmeg Association, GCNA, to help increase nutmeg productivity through grafting on one particular farm in St. Andrew. Nutmeg farmer Ambrose Phillip, after investing heavily in 400 nutmeg plants, have been left with 80% of his plots unable to produce. Grafting as an alternative way of propagation has been in discussions for quite some time. The farm of Mr. Ambrose Phillip is the first to have this measure being implemented. Phillip's nutmegs were planted in 2016. He explains the predicament he is presently faced with. If you look around, you would see that the bulk of the nutmegs are not under the traditional shade of banana. The bulk of the nutmegs are what you will call open stand or open field. And as a result, they have started declaring. They started declaring about March, April last year. And regrettably, we had an extremely and unfortunate high percentage of male plants, or male declarations. In other words, nutmegs can take up to seven years to declare, and by declare we mean whether the flower that you get and the subsequent fruit is male or female. Cardi representative for Grenada, Reginald Andal, speaks on the effectiveness of the method of grafting. The Ministry of Agriculture here in Grenada, after the Ivan fiasco, with, with assistance, financial assistance from the International Trade Center, the, our grafters in Grenada at, at Maribel Propagating Station were, were, and also in the SPICE research project, were educated into the grafting process. So, and we knew that they have had some approximately about 30% success in that. So knowing that we, and, and when we, investigated also the cost of grafting a nutmeg tree is much much way way cheaper than doing DNA sequencing. So hence when we got to know about Mr. Phillips debacle of all his high rate of nutmeg trees on his farm, maybe about 90 percent, we, we discussed it with the GCAD and we decided that this is a, a good intervention to start with with um with mr philip to transfer his male plants into female bearing plants the method of grafting was performed by agricultural instructor at the mirable propagating station Shawin joseph he speaks on the processes that must be followed to guarantee success but this technique you now um, once we have selected the 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 mother plant the female plant Right, with the, with the desirable characteristics, for example, um, large seed, um, thick mace, etc. Um, what will actually profit the farmer more? We select those mother plants, and we take the body material from those plants, and then we graft it onto the male plants. Right. After after the budding process, it will take about uh, say a month or so, a month to six weeks, and uh, the farmer will have to be there to um, observe the plant, observe the graft, um, remove the tape as I will demonstrate um, after once you realize the bud is active and it's time to grow, um, the farmer can take it off and we will notice that the tree in return, the bud that grows out will be a female bud and then you control the plant growth to not make the root stock take over the bud. General Manager of the GCNA, Roderick Sinclair, says this initiative is just the start in its implementation, as other farmers who face a similar situation also stand to benefit. For the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Karima Lewis.